Good Monday morning. It is time to take the day. Let's go. Let's get after it. Let's what? Take in the day I am. Take in the day I am. Yee. Yee. Wait a minute. Yee is such an Atlanta term. <laughs> Let's just take the day. Let's just take the day. <laughs> take in the day I am. Take in the day. All right, everybody, I'm going to hit you with two things real quick, jumping right into the discussion. The first thing I want to give you is a reminder. Pay attention to your life. What is life speaking to you? Being mindful. And we hear the word mindful, and when we think of the word, the term mindful, it's, such, it's one of those terms that we kind of associate with yoga and zen and buddha and all that type of stuff but really mindfulness is just saying pay attention pay attention to yourself to how you are experiencing your life are you paying attention if you haven't mastered that yet go back to the very first episode touch that again listen to it again because you have to pay attention now, which leads me to number two. I'm going to tell you how we've arrived at this discussion. Over this past weekend, I was invited to um, a get-together, a party that a friend of mine was having. And while I'm at this get-together, I noticed that a couple, three, four people weren't having, they were at the party, but not really experiencing the party in a great way. They were just kind of there you know, or experiencing it from a stressful place or experiencing it from a, I, I'm angry about this or what all of that was the undertone was going on while everybody else was kind of experiencing this revelry. They were having this alternate experience. So I actually approached one person, a couple people actually, and said, hey, what you doing? You need to get it together. Like, you need to be enjoying this. Like, take a deep breath and really enjoy. And then, you know, it occurred to me that the message really wasn't for them. It was really for me. That it was for me. That I needed to pay attention to my own process. To my own situation. Because prior to the party, and here's my story for the day, I found out that my last opportunity to get my kids in a school that I wanted them to be in was denied, that I'd gotten a no. And I was completely hurt and frustrated by it. I have very, very intelligent children and I made the decision to take them out of private school because I, I was tired of spending the money, quite frankly. When you pay for private school, you are paying for school twice because you, your tax dollars pay for public school and then you're turning around and paying for private school, so you're paying for school twice. And I was like, look, I want to be able to do some different things. I'm tired of giving y'all folk this kind of money. All You know, this is a lot of coin. I want my, I want my money. I want to spend my money. <laughs> Not you, right? So I made the decision to put them in public school and it was a horrible decision. We've had an awful experience. Now, I don't think anything's wrong with public school. I love public school. I believe it is that school. And so I was trying to follow the system. This is my third time trying to do the system in the county that I live in and to no avail, it has not worked. And I have, listen, I have called every favor I could call in. I know some people and I have called all the favors and honey, nobody could open the lock to this door. So I, I they told me to try the system one more time. It, it had to, it, it was going to work. It did not work. And Friday, five o'clock, I got my no. So really Friday, I was all the way in a funk because as a parent, I feel defeated. As a parent, I feel like I can't provide my children with what they need, a basic education. Like, really? Like, seriously? So it's, it's very heartbreaking for me. And I needed to stop. I, I, I went into my automatic response. 
automatically when I don't like something or something isn't going my way, I gear up for war and I'm going to, I'm going to fight it and I'm going to knock it down. But sometimes that's just not the way. A lot of times, most times that is not the way. All the stress that it takes to war against things, that is not the way. Ultimately, I needed to stop. Pay attention. What is this telling me? Don't start fighting, but embrace what it means. Embrace how is this a blessing for me? What am I missing? Okay, it's not working out the way I want it to. What is this telling me? How is this working together for my greatest good? How is this a blessing to me? Let me be intentional about looking for that and understanding that and seeking that and praying about that. The worst thing you want to do is be at the party of your life. Your life is the party. And you in the room, but you not participating in the room. You at the party, you at the party of your life. The party is going on all around you. And what life does is it throws all kind of stuff at you. And it distracts you from the enjoyment of life. From the blessing that is life. You have to be mindful. You have to be intentional. About paying attention to how you are experiencing your life. That's all I have for you today. I wish you the best. Have a fantastic week. Take the day, guys. Bye-bye. Taking the day I am. Taking the day. Taking the day I am. Taking the day. Taking the day I am. Taking the day. Taking the day.